In this video, we will be discussing how to use our various EMT gurneys. Each style has slightly different mechanisms for operation. So instead of showing one instructional for each gurney, we've split this video into four different chapters. Each gurney is designed to be used by two paramedics, so some of these moves will require two people. At this time, feel free to move to the chapter that corresponds to the gurney you have rented. The easiest way to raise and lower the striker EMT gurney is with two people, one on either end. To lower the gurney, have the operators grab the frame with an underhand grip, making sure not to grab the footrest, backrest, or a pinch point. Both operators will lift slightly, and then the person at the foot will pull the release lever. Continue to hold the release lever and slowly lower the gurney until it's in the folded position. To raise the gurney from the folded position, pull and hold the release lever before lifting the gurney. Let go of the release lever to lock the undercarriage. Do not pull the lever if the wheels are off the ground, or the undercarriage will drop and frighten nearby PAs. If you wish to lower the striker by yourself, make sure that there is nothing resting on top of it. Grab the foot end of the frame, then tilt the entire gurney upwards, pull the release lever, and slowly drop the gurney until it's in the folded position. To raise the gurney by yourself, pull the release handle, then tilt the gurney up. Release the lever to lock the undercarriage, then tilt the gurney back into a flat position. Do not pull the lever if the folded gurney is fully tilted or the undercarriage will fall suddenly and turn your legs backwards. To load into an ambulance, push the head end towards the opening, making sure that the gurney is at its highest position. Push the loading wheels inside and have the person at the foot end of the gurney lift and pull the release lever. The other person will lift the transport wheels and then help push the gurney into the ambulance. To unload, reverse this process. Hold the lever and have the second operator lower the undercarriage. Release the lever to lock the legs into place. Some ambulances have a safety catch, so make sure to raise the safety bar on the gurney before unloading. Do not pull the gurney all the way out if you are holding the lever. Release the lever or the undercarriage won't lock and movie star Tom Hanks will be very upset. Verno EMT gurney has five different configurations, which you will need to understand in order to properly operate the gurney. These positions are Loading position. It's the highest position, notable for its slight incline, and as the name implies, the gurney must be in this configuration in order to load into an ambulance. The folded position is the lowest configuration and is best for storage and use in an ambulance. The transport positions are the three middle positions, which are ideal for transportation. If you are trying to get to the loading position from the folded position, there are a few ways to achieve that. The first way is to have two people grab the frame with an underhand grip. Be sure you are not grabbing the footrest or backrest. Grab the main frame and pull all the way up until the undercarriage locks into place. You can also do the same action by yourself by tilting the foot end up until the undercarriage locks into place. If your gurney has been loaded into an ambulance, to take it out you will switch to the loading position. Grab the frame and start to pull, then have a second operator lower the undercarriage to the ground. Make sure that the undercarriage locks into place before pulling the gurney out completely. If you are in one of the three transport positions and you are trying to get to the loading position, you will need two people. Both people will lift slightly and pull the release levers on both ends. Let go of the levers once the undercarriage is fully extended. To switch to one of the transport positions from the loading position, 
Two people will grab the frame with an underhand grip, making sure not to grab the footrest or backrest. Make sure that the auxiliary lock is disengaged. Lift slightly on the frame, then pull the release levers at both ends, letting go at either the low or middle transport positions. If you want to switch to the highest transport position, follow the same steps, except you only need to pull the release lever at the head end of the gurney. To switch from the folded position to one of the transport positions, you will first need to switch to the loading position, then follow the steps we just covered. If you are trying to switch from the transport position to the folded position, you will fail. Many customers have this issue, so let me say it again. You cannot switch from a transport position to the folded position. If you try to push the gurney down all the way, you will be unsuccessful. So please don't force it. In order to switch to the folded position, you will need to start in the loading position and you will either need an ambulance or you will need to fold it solo. To load into an ambulance, raise the gurney to the loading position. Place the loading wheels inside and make sure that the auxiliary lock is disengaged. Squeeze the lever and lift the foot end until the transport wheels are off the ground. Have the other person pull up on the lifting grip and help push the gurney into the ambulance. To fold the gurney by yourself, start in the loading position. Grab the frame with an underhand grip and make sure that the auxiliary lock is disengaged. Tilt up until the loading wheels are on the ground, pull the release lever, and then lower the gurney into the folded position. The Ferno EMT chair cot is unlike our other gurneys because besides being able to raise and lower, it also has the ability to transform into a chair at the pull of a trigger. Wow, chair god. Very cool. It's amazing. Holy moly. To raise the gurney, you will need two people, one at either end. Grab the frame using an underhand grip, being sure not to grab the backrest or conversion handle. Grab the frame and lift up until the undercarriage locks into place. Once in the raised position, the Ferno chair cot can transform into a chair by squeezing the conversion handle, pushing down slightly, and then pulling up. If you want to lower the gurney without using an ambulance, you will need just one person and an empty gurney. Tilt up until the loading wheels are on the ground, pull the release lever, and then slowly lower the gurney into the folded position. If you want to raise the gurney with just one person, tilt up until the undercarriage has locked into place. If you wish to load the gurney into an ambulance, you need to make sure that the gurney is at its topmost position and fully reclined. Push the gurney headfirst into the ambulance until the loading wheels are inside. Pull up on the foot end of the frame until the transport wheels lift off the ground. Pull the release trigger and slowly push the gurney the rest of the way in. To unload the gurney, grab the foot end of the frame and begin to pull, allowing the undercarriage to slowly drop to the ground until it locks into place. The Ferno PowerFlex can be operated at the touch of a button. To start, be sure you have two operators, one at either end of the gurney. Only the operator at the foot end of the gurney will be using the controls, but both people are recommended to help guide the gurney up and down. 
To lower, grab the frame with an underhand grip, making sure not to grab the footrest or backrest. The foot end operator will check the battery gauge and make sure the power is switched on, then press the blue button. And both people will keep their hands on the frame as it lowers. To raise, follow the same procedure, but the foot end operator will press the green button. To load into an ambulance, raise the gurney to loading height. Place the head end of the gurney into the ambulance, then have both operators lift the foot end of the gurney while pressing the blue load button. Once the undercarriage is all the way up, push the gurney into the ambulance. To unload, pull the gurney out and press the green raise button until the wheels are on the ground. Some ambulances have a safety catch, so you may have to pull up on the safety bar before pulling the gurney all the way out. Our various EMT gurneys may appear difficult to operate at first glance, but if you watch this video and are able to master the varied transformations, loading and unloading, and proper safety precautions, cut. you will lend a sense of realism to the scene and garner respect from the director. Great job. If you still have questions, please feel free to call us during business hours 